welcome students in this video we are studying some concepts related with the taxonomy so first we starts with the taxonomic hierarchy if we consider our whole living world there are many different types of the plants and animals are present and uh, it is just becoming impossible to know each and every animal and plant uh, plant by their own name so here <coughs> if we are just consider the plant uh, or animal names we are just arrange them okay we are going to arrange the living organism in a particular sequence or we are going to arrange them in a category and when we are going to arrange them in a category or in a different grade so that is known as arrangement of the living organism into different level or in different categories or different taxa okay uh, so we are when arrange them according to the ascending uh, order okay we call it as the taxonomic hierarchy so the carl linnaeus was the first taxonomist who identify the method of uh, classify the organism and there are many such a different level or different categories so which are those categories for example species okay then genus family phylum class kingdom order okay so these are the different types of the categories and we are going to arrange the living organism or we are going to arrange the living organisms according to the presence or absence of certain characters into that particular level or into that particular category if certain characters are present we are place them in that particular kingdom okay so when we study some characters on the basis of present or absence of those characters we are going to arrange them in either species genus family etc okay so these are known as a ranks or we are called them as the categories so the first we study the dif uh, in the different categories taxonomic categories specifically first we study the species see the species which is the uh, important category in uh, taxonomic hierarchy now it is what is mean by the species so we have said that species refers to a group of organisms which are closely resemble with each other okay group of organism which are with closely resemblance with each other okay and in addition to that and they are able to interbreed okay and this is the group of such animals we call them as the species see this is the lowest category okay species is the lowest category in the taxonomic hierarchy so which organisms come here so here we are describing that in species we are making group of such organisms which are cl shows closely resemblance with each other and they are able to interbreed so we make a group of all such organisms and call them third species okay so that is known as the uh, species so try to remember that here in case of the species the organisms which are able to interbreed okay so here the population where the interbreeding is allowed that is group of all those organism and we called it as the species 
see for example here already when we studied the binomial nomenclature we studied one example that is homo sapiens so sapiens is the species okay this is the species okay here we are saying that though they are present in the different geographical areas we call them as they are belonging to the one species that is sapiens homo sapiens is the scientific name of human beings now you know that human beings are present everywhere on but though they are present everywhere in a different continent we are called or we just place them in a same species that is known as sapiens because all those human beings they are possesses same character or they are with closely resemblance with each other okay though they are present at a different places and they are able to interpret and since we call the group of all those human beings we call them biologically as a sapiens so sapiens is the species okay so this is about the lowest category which is present in the taxonomic hierarchy the next one is there which is called as the genus see this is the first higher category above the species level okay and we called it as the genus now what is the definition of the genus the group of related species okay group of related species so we are making the group of related species means species 1 2 3 4 we are make a group of all those four species because those species have some common characters and since we are making the group of those four species and we are uh, make a group we called it as the genus so what is genus genus means the group of related species okay uh, now here what happens see such a group of common features uh, which are present okay or which are the common features or common characters we call them as the correlated characters and these correlated characters they may appear in that particular species for example um, number of the uh, bristles or number of the bristles and position of the bristles on the wing of the insects so this is one character so that character remain common in many species so if it is remain common in the many species we are making group of them and collectively we just call that particular group by a specific name and that name means nothing but the genus okay so this is known as the genus for example in this homo sapiens homo is the genus then the next next taxonomic hierarchy which we call it as the family see in case of family if you just consider the definition of family one or more related genera okay family means what it is a group of one or more related genera and we call them as the family for example see the tiger cat okay they are different from each other or we are taking an, if we are taking another example the uh, though they are the tiger lions and all the remaining other cats they are from different genera but they are from the same family and we call that family 
as felidae so here in felidae family the lion tiger and all types of cats are present together apan marathi madhe kay manto waghachi mavshi manje kon manzar ma baka apan jar example ghetla manzar wagh kiwa aplya parisaramadhe jo kahi वाघा सारखा दिसणार आहे पण तो वाघ नाही आहे तो आपण त्याला म्हणतो बिबट्या त्याच्यानंतर चित्ता असे जर सगळे अनिमल घेतले तर हे सगळे वेगळेवेगळे येत एकमेकांपासून त्यांची स्पेसीज वेगळी आहे पण त्यांच्यात काय कॉमन आहे ते स्पेसीज जरी वेगळी असली तरी ते एकाच फॅमिलीचे आहे आणि ते फॅमिलीचं नाव आहे पेलडी इफिटेक अनादर एक्झाम्पल the another family that is canidae so which includes dogs and fox baka dogs and foxes apan jela kolha kutra taras ase je kai ahe te sagle ek ahe chatle manje apan tela mhanto canidae family okay he ha don family vegle ahet pan ya family madhe jasa apan felidae madhe baghitla ki टायगर आहे लायन आहे कॅट आहे आणि कॅनेडीमध्ये आहे डॉग्स फॉक्स एक्सेट्रा सो हियर ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ सर्टन कॉमन कॅरेक्टर्स वी आर मेकिंग अ ग्रुप अँड वी इन्क्लुडेड देम हियर इन अ सिंगल फॅमिली आय दर पेलिडी ऑर कॅनेडी देर आर मेनी सच अ टाईप्स ऑफ फॅमिलीज बट हियर वी आर टेकिंग ओनली द टू एक्झाम्पल्स विच आर फॅमिलियर टू यू बिकॉज फ्रॉम बोथ द फॅमिली यू uh no the domesticated animal from that family both families and the wild animals also okay so the next one that is the order see order means for see this is a basic taxonomic category which includes similar families okay similar families suborders infra order super families infra uh, classes so all these uh, remaining other categories included here under the order so in order we are just say that similar families we are making a group of them and collectively we call it as the order for example here we are making the two different families felidae and canidae see felidae here cat tiger lion so if you just consider these are look somehow they look similar i i am not saying that alike they look some of the characters they are common here in cat tiger lion and some of the characters of dogs fox they remain common so here if we are saying that all these cat tiger lion dog fox if we are taking a character a feeding habit actually all these animals animals either from cat, family canidae or the animals from family pelidae they feed on the another animals and we call such a type of the animals who feeds on the another animal we call them as a carnivorous animal okay so the animals from family canidae and from family felidae they are carnivorous and since we call at the, here what happens see this family felidae and family canidae they are similar families so what is the similarity the animals are carnivorous कार्निवोरस ज्याला आपण मराठीमध्ये म्हणतो मास भक्षी मास खाणारे दुसऱ्या अनिमल्सला खाणारे सो हियर द सिमिलर फॅमिलीज मीन्स द फेलिडी अँड कॅनेडी द अनिमल्स फ्रॉम कॅनेडी अँड अनिमल्स फ्रॉम फेलिडी दे आर कार्निवोरस अँड सिन्स वी आर प्लेस देम इन अ सिंगल ऑर्डर ॲज दे आर कार्निवोरस सो विच इज दॅट ऑर्डर सो दॅट ऑर्डर इज कार्निवोरा ओके 
order carnivora which includes both the family family pelidi and family canidi okay so this is about the order the next one that is the class see uh, here we are saying that class is the basic category hmm? which includes super classes infra classes okay and here the classes are the best known taxa in animal kingdom so this is act as the main main taxa in animal kingdom so the class is the division of phylum okay so here what happens see this order carnivora which includes the two family but actually all these carnivora they are belonging to class mammalia why they give birth to young ones okay and they are with the milk gland they possesses hairs on their body so these are the certain common characters baka he cat tiger lion dog fox he kahi hi ghetle tari te kay kartat pillanna janma deta they give birth to the young one all the females of all these animals they possesses milk glands all these animals they have hairs on their body we call it as a fur okay then just skin varti केस असतात सो वी कॉल डेम ॲज द फर आय दर फर सो इफ दे पजेसेस ऑल दीज कॅरेक्टर्स अँड सिन्स वी आर मेकिंग ग्रुप ऑफ देम अँड वी जस्ट कॉल दॅट पर्टिक्युलर ग्रुप ॲज अ क्लास अँड दॅट क्लास इज नोन ॲज द मॅमेलिया ओके सो द नेक्स्ट वन सिक्स फायलम हियर द फायलम मीन्स the subdivision of kingdom okay it is the subdivision of kingdom uh, now here many phyla are there for example if you take the example of phylum porifera see the name itself indicate that porifera so pori means what uh, if we consider this word porifera actually the porifera means the animals with which bear spores on their body pori means pores chote chote holes astat tancha body varti for example the best and well known example for you that is a sponges baka he sagle je kahi sponges astat te ha phylum porifera madhe astat so here porifera actually this porifera includes the uh, different three classes for example class calcarea class hexactinellida and class demospongia okay so these phylum porifera means what it is the collection of all classes means grouping of the uh, classes which are with similar character and we called it as the phylum manje ase kahi similar classes astil tar tancha group kela tar tyala apan mhannar ahe phylum for example phylum porifera and the last one the last one that is kingdom see this is the highest taxonomic category okay we call the kingdom as the highest taxonomic category all the similar phylum if we make a group of all the similar phylum we called it as the kingdom for example kingdom animalia सो इन किंगडम ॲनिमेलिया मेनी डिफरंट ॲनिमल्स आर प्रेझेंट मग आता किंगडम ॲनिमेलिया म्हटलं तर त्याच्यामध्ये कोणताही ॲनिमल येईल फॉर एक्झाम्पल कॅट येऊ शकेल लायन येईल त्याचं एक्झाम्पल फॉक्स त्याचं एक्झाम्पल आहे त्याच्यानंतर ह्युमन बिंग त्यांचं एक्झाम्पल आहे मीन्स वॉट इट इज द हायेस्ट कॅटेगरी ओके सो हियर इन धीस व्हिडिओ वी स्टडीड द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द डिफरंट taxa which we included in the taxonomic hierarchy for example species genus family order class phylum and kingdom okay in the next video 
we will study the next concept that is concept of species thank you